This is a video for everybody over at SACD.net. Um, okay, the first thing is that I want to talk a little bit about the acquiring of these brand new SACD cases. Now, it's hard to get them. They're really hard cases to come by. And uh, I'm hoping that someone out there knows a Canadian dealer that sells them. If not, I'll obviously have to go with a U.S. seller. Um, the second point that I want to bring up in this video is about um, the double cases, the kind that hold two discs at once. Well, the big problem with these babies, and you can see that I'm sure you're all familiar with this RCO live recording with high tank, but anyways, here's uh, the one first disc, of course, and on the reverse, the second disc. I'm sure most people here know uh, what a, a double SACD case is. But the problem with them is, and this happened to me with uh, my Mahler disc, which I'll show you right now. I'm still trying to get a replacement from DAC or Universal on this. Is that the the spindle in the middle here is so tight that when you pull the disc off, it's really hard to remove them, and you'll get these cracks forming. I don't know if you can see them. Probably not. Okay, we won't worry too much about that. But. I think I've discovered uh, an answer to keeping the disc from, from getting cracked when you remove it from the case. And probably the best thing to do is to actually twist the disc gently. So as, you, as it comes time, I'm just going to push it down all the way there. When it comes time to remove the disc, just very gently lift it on the sides and start to turn the disc slowly. Now this does take a minute for the disc to come off. But if you turn it just slowly, like so, you're not putting a lot of pressure on the center spindle. And the disc removes really easily like that. And you're not putting all this excess pressure by lifting the disc from the sides. And what I think is happening with, uh, with these cases, these double cases like these, is that when the disc is being lifted like that, I mean, you're pulling on both corners of the disc, the the, uh, the two layers are being lifted like that, of course, from the center. And one layer tends to slide in one direction or the other, I think. And that's where the cracking comes in. So again, probably the simplest and the best technique for removing the, And this is just new for me. I can't guarantee that this isn't going to damage your disc. But it looks good to me, though, because if you turn the disc just gently like that, it actually unscrews almost in a way from the case. So you're just turning it and turning it gently, lifting just a little bit at a time, and it comes right off. And lo and behold, your disc isn't damaged. And uh, my only concern is when you put the disc back in the case, uh, is that going to damage the disc? So probably the best thing to do is to just push it from one sec section of the disc to the other, like that, around the hole, rather than trying to put it on all at once. So I'll try that for a while. Maybe some of you are doing the same thing out there to avoid having your disc get cracked when you're removed from those types of cases. And uh, we'll see what happens.